All right, guys, so many, you probably watched a lot of videos and uh, even our videos when people talk about pronation a lot on the surf. They tell you, you know, you go, when you hit the surf, you got to pronate your forearm to hit all the surfs. And nobody really talks about supination. And you're going to ask me, what is supination? Why do we even talk about it? What is it? And uh, as coaches, we see a lot on, on the court, especially beginner players doing supination. So now let's talk about what it is and I'll explain if you should do it or not. All right, guys. So, um, so many times I've seen beginners, they come in and uh, especially on a slice or a kick serve, they use supination in order to generate that slice or kick. So what happens there is when people bring their racket up, all of a sudden at this point right here, the point of contact, they, ro they rotate the arm the opposite direction, which calls supination. So pronation, when you rotate your face of the racket outside fence, this one to its inside fence. So what happens? Yes, you do generate slice. People do it subconsciously. They don't think about it, obviously. Most of the time, they don't know the term of that. A lot of beginners, that, especially the ones that don't take lessons and uh, do it on their own, it just feels more natural for them to do it. They think that's the way you're going to generate spin or a kick. As a matter of fact, you can. Yes, when you do the supination, you actually can get more slice and a little bit more kick, but you cannot max out your surf. You cannot get maximum amount of rotation and you cannot get maximum amount of slice on your surf. As a matter of fact, you slow down your racket at speed as well. Now, let's ask ourselves so why we shouldn't do it because it really does make sense a little bit if you do this motion it should give you more uh, slice on it but think about it when you hit the ball if you do if you watch any slow motion of any serve the ball stays on your racket for such a short period of time it barely stays on your racket an inch maybe even less than that so think about it all the rest of the motion that you'll be doing is going to be just in the air so our goal is generate maximum amount of racket head speed on all these serves. So if you have a continental or towards your one-handed backhand grip, you want to pronate. Now I'll explain why you should do it. Now when you swing down with your racket, if you would never pronate, you would be coming up with the frame hitting the, the, the ball. So naturally, of course, you're not gonna you're not gonna hit it with the frame. So naturally, you start the pronation where you have antagonic and agonic muscles uh, one set of muscles is going to be relaxed another one is going to be contracting in bringing the racket up so think about it. these muscles right here is going to be contracting this muscle right there is going to be relaxing as well as your biceps going to relax and your triceps is going to be pulling the, the racket up now as we get to the point of contact think about it. if you start supinating then the different sets of muscle all of a sudden had to contract and the other sets of muscle have to relax. That becomes a conflict and your racket at speed slows down. That's why we have to continuously accelerate and pronate our form. With the supination, you're going to lose the racket at speed. So if you were coming up to the point of contact with about 100 miles an hour racket at speed, you would slow down to about 90 through the point of contact. Now, uh, pronation will help you to continue acceleration and considering how short the ball stays on your strings the only thing you will have to do on the slice serve making sure at the point of contact your racket is not completely vertical just a little bit of an angle on it to get a ball on the side to hit the ball on the side to generate that slice and as you're hitting you're going to generate more uh, racket speed so the ball is going to have a very nice curve Plus, with the supination, uh, I find that a lot of players open up a little bit as they swing. They start swinging, their uh, body completely opens up. All right, guys, so I'll show you, uh, and you see yourself if that's the problem you have on your serve. So I'm going to show you a full supination, half supination, and then pronation on the serve, and you'll see that all the serves will generate slice. Uh, I'm not going to use my legs just for a couple of reasons, because first of all, I have a mic, so it might fall down and I don't want to break it. Uh, and plus, we only focus on that part of the serve, so hopefully you can get my point. So I'll show you the full supination on the serve, you'll see what happens then. You can still get some results, but it will not get a maximum amount of racket at speed. So here we go. I'm going to toss and I'm going to supinate. And a lot of times that's the case. What happens, the sli it slices too much, plus actually you can get some elbow pain because of that uh, conflict of muscles, the, the way they work. Now I'm going to show you half supination like that which is a little bit easier to control but again puts too much stress on your arm and then i'll show you a full pronation there 
where you can get maximum amount of slice without putting much effort and still generate low more racket at speed. Now, obviously if you use your legs, you know, you get all your full swing and you accelerate as much as you can, you can get even higher, uh, more angle on that slice serve. Plus, in addition to that, it, it looks the same. So when you hit first, second serves, you hit flat serves, you hit kick serves, actually you can hide them and people won't recognize which serve is coming. Because of the better players, as you're coming over the ball and you start ro the, uh, rotating your arm here, they already know where the ball is going to go. There is no other way you're going to go. It's always going to go to the forehand of your opponent. It's going to be really hard for you to get the ball down the tee. And uh, they will know exactly. They will get their forehand grip and will be ready to return. So, guys, I hope this video helps you out. Now, uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a free course for you very soon under the link below. So, always look out for it and enjoy the rest of, you, of your day.